Welcome to our McAfee and Taft webinar, AI Algorithms and HR Software in the Workplace, Caveats and Concerns. I'm Elizabeth Bowersox. I practice in the area of employment law here at McAfee and Taft. I have my partner, Sasha Beeling, with me. She is a cybersecurity, intellectual property, and data privacy attorney. So today we're going to do an interdisciplinary webinar where I talk to you about the employment law concerns with using these new technologies in the workplace. I've got Sasha here to be my expert on privacy issues and to explain to us kind of how the technology works because that's not necessarily my strong suit. So I hope you're ready to learn some new things today, to understand how the cutting edge technology works in the workplace, and to understand what the risks are for going forward, as well as a few ways to mitigate those risks. Usually how I do these is I just scare people really bad at first so that you go, there's no way I can do this and stay in compliance with the law. But then we will give you some tips on staying in compliant with the law. And we're here at McAfee and Taft. Anytime you have questions, you can call us and get more advice. So Sasha, if you would start off by just kind of defining the areas that we're going to be talking about today for people who might not know. Sure. So... A lot of the, we're going to use some technological jargon, um, you know, showing as artificial intelligence and machine learning, and I'll go into that a little bit more uh, on the next slide. Um, some other terminology that we'll use today is going to be algorithms, software, and an app. Uh, when you think about this, think about algorithms really are just a set of instructions that can be followed by a computer to accomplish some end. Um, it can also be a formula. Uh, software is just a program or procedure that provides instructions to a computer on how to perform a given task. And an app is software designed to perform or help a user perform a specific task or tasks. Um, one thing to note too as you're doing this is there might be different regulations or laws that define these terms differently. So that is something just to be aware of. On the last slide, I introduced two concepts, artificial intelligence and machine learning. So I want to give a, just a brief background because those things are that terminology is thrown around a lot. Um, you might hear AI, artificial intelligence, machine learning, ML, deep learning, uh, but they all have some sort of meaning. Um, and as I start with artificial intelligence, there's really no set definition. Um, really generally just think about artificial intelligence as a technique that enables computers and machines to mimic human intelligence. It's just trying to mimic human behavior. Machine learning is a subcategory within artificial intelligence, and it allows a system to learn with experience by without with experience by without explicit programming. So more pattern uh, recognition. I mentioned machine learning. It's not anything that you need for this webinar, but just know that that's a subcategory within machine learning, um, and that's really essentially a machine able to train itself. So another thing to keep in mind too is, you know, as we're using technology, um, there's a difference between automation and AI. So think of automation as rules-based, and it's something that's, its purpose is to mimic human actions using, you know, for example, a flowchart or some other uh, set of rules. Uh, it's best used when your input or your logics are something that's consistent and standardized. So think repetitive tasks. Think, you know, the, the, the robot on the assembly line. Uh, AI, as I mentioned earlier, is pattern-based. And again, its purpose is to mimic human behavior and human thinking using statistical modeling. Um, so AI is best used for a uh, different type of inputs or logic when, they're, when the inputs are changing or when the, the system or process that you, the action that you require re requires complex reasoning. So let's talk about how some of these tools are used in the workplace. It's possible that your workplace may be using automation, AI, machine learning, all these different tools, and you may not even be thinking of those things um, as AI. It's very common to use artificial intelligence in hiring, recruiting, job applications these days. Um, so how this is going to work is first I'm going to explain how the technology is being used by companies, um, both so that you can recognize it and you can understand areas where you may be concerned. 
Um, and also maybe you can get some ideas for some new tools that your company might want to use or get an idea of what the industry standard is or what the other companies out there are doing. Then I'll scare you a little bit by telling you how these tools can get your company in trouble. Um, and there are a lot of ways that you may not have even thought of, of how you can get in trouble using these tools, unfortunately. And like I said, then we'll talk about how you can um, stay in compliance first from an employment law perspective, and then from the other set of laws that govern these kind of interactions, such as data privacy laws.